Hi guys, yesterday we fixed our PGS server and now our peers uh, again can stream a video from their webcam or from their screen to each other. And today I'm going to show you how to add a chat to our web application and uh, let our users uh, exchange text messages, links and etc. So let's start. That's our application in its current state. Uh, and let's check that it's working fine. Yeah, it's working. And uh, what do we want to add now is uh, another button here in the bottom uh, to uh, show or hide our chat. So let's uh, do it. In components, uh, let's um, uh, let's just copy uh, our screen sharing button for now and uh, rename it to chat button. Uh, it will be almost the same, just with a different icon. Let's uh, find something. Maybe this one looks good. Let's copy it and replace our SVG here. Um, and uh, let's add it in our uh, room page in the bottom. So that's how it looks. Let's just add a margin to uh, both buttons. Actually, these buttons are a good candidate for refactoring. Uh, because uh, it's basically the same, only icon is different, um, but we will do it later. And yeah, let's uh, rename our button here as well. And let's add margin to both. And now when we have our button, uh, let's also add a chat uh, markup. Uh, we will uh, create few components here. Let's make a separate folder for them. Uh, let's start with our chat input. Uh, it will be just a text area and a submit button. create a state here for our message and on change we will just uh, change our message And our value will be message. So that's just a controllable, uh, just a controlled input here. Yeah, and we need to import use date. And uh, next one will be our chat bubble. message content and uh, let's define the type for our message let's create the um, type folder here it will have uh, content property uh, where uh, it will be a string and also author property also string and timestamp again string um, very simple one and let's type it here uh, 
uh, and our chat component. And it will contain just two things, our messages, And it will return a chat bubble. And we'll pass a message here. Let's just import the chat bubble. And second thing we want to see here will be our chat input. And now we can just import this chat to our room. Mm. Okay, I forgot to export our interface. And I also have to import it here and where is the chat bubble and here so the good thing about TypeScript that uh, it always shows you if something is wrong so here it is our chat but it's not very well visible let's add a border to our text area now it's a little bit better um, but uh, how I want it to look like I want it to be the full height and to have a border on the left as well so here we add a plus border left we also need to make this uh, full height and let's do it. The entire page will be always uh, 100 VH and um, this room ID it looks a little bit ugly here. Let's also add some styles. Let's add a nice red background, a little bit of padding, and let's make it white. So now it's better. And the next div, the one that is just a flex, uh, that has only flex class, uh, this div we want to make it full height as well. And we will make it grow. And now it's full height. And we have our chat. Uh, and in this chat, we would like to put our text area to the bottom and again flex will help us let's go to our chat component and uh, let's add a justify so we added justify between and now our text area disappeared and it happened because it's under this block now so we want to add some padding here and let's add it here. First, let's make this um, toolbar our fixed height. And this height will be, it will be again some tile with 
Tailwind styles. You can check it on uh, the Tailwind documentation. Uh, we will add this height 28 class. And if you check it here, you will see that the height is now 7 uh, RM. And uh, we will add the same padding here, padding bottom 28. And now we see our text, text area. But you can uh, see these buttons, they are now uh, not square. Uh, the height became a bit bigger, but we will also fix it with um, one class. With the class item center, we will fix the buttons. And it's now, they're now square again. So it works. Uh, let's also add styles for our messages, for our chat bubble. Um, first, we will add some static array of messages. You can see they appear here in our chat. Uh, let's uh, get our user from our own context. And uh, let's find out if the message is uh, up from our current user or from his peers. So it's his message. He author is equal to me ID. And uh, here I would like to introduce a new library. Uh, it, the name of the library class names. It helps to control which classes we use uh, conditionally uh, because if we will just do it with if else uh, syntax, it will be very messy. And this library helps to keep it clean and uh, easy, easily readable. So let's install this library. Instead of just a string with class names, we pass this function. And when we want to conditionally render some classes, we can use it, uh, we can pass an object here. And uh, let's say if the author of the message is our current user, then we want it to be these classes. And if it's not, then it will be different classes. Yeah, but this should be a parent. Yeah. And for this div. For the uh, background uh, color of the message, we will also use different colors for uh, message of current user and for message of other users. Uh, again, I'm using uh, tiles in CSS for these styles and colors. I'm not explaining too detailed about it, but if you don't understand what's going on, uh, you can just go to the documentation of the Tailwind and check it. 
So we have something wrong here. Let's check. Chat bubble. Mm -hmm. Can we treat properties of undefined? We fixed it. So you can see our messages are styled now. And uh, we can also make this button a little bit nicer in our chat input. Just to be perfectionists. bit better and we can also uh, put here an icon let's find something instead of text we just need to rotate it yeah now it looks better uh, so we <clears throat> we are done with styles and now let's um, write some logic for our chat. Mm -hmm. 